very frequently, just before your joint venture partner is about to buy that property, they're going to have a wobble. Because they're buying a high ticket item, it is nerve wracking. If they are buying a deal, the likelihood is there's something wrong with that property. Because for whatever reason, it's either the owner's situation, in which case you've got a lovely property deal, but the owner may suddenly pull a fast one on you at the last minute or body swerve or you know, require you to do it much faster than need be because they're getting repossessed and they kind of forgot to mention it to anybody. <laughs> Um, or there's something missing legally from the deal, so you need some indemnity, or there's a tenant inside the deal and nobody thought to mention it to anybody, or you're, you know, th so, you're inv so you're probably facing a slightly more problematic property than normal, just in terms of buying. Now, it doesn't put me up nor down, but I'm used to this. Your JV partner may be new to all of this, and this may be rather frightening for them understandably so. So A, you need to put time in to communicate with them and B, you need to be able to problem solve and say, that's okay, this is how we deal with it. And C, you need to do a little bit of suck it up. You know, not in a rude way, but this is why we're getting this deal, you know, cheap. This is property. These things come out of the woodwork at the last minute. And so whilst you may be internally panicking yourself like that beautiful swan and you're paddling like mad underneath, you need to inspire confidence with your JV partner because your JV partner will have an IW investor wobble and have some fear and maybe need a little bit of pushing to get over the line. And that's natural human behavior.